for your debut. So after how many months, several months, uh, how did you prepare? How did you, your songs, your craft, your image? What was your preparation now that you're here as the official solo artist of SP Town? So actually po, for the preparation, marami po akong hinanda. And firstly po, trinay ko pong i-gain ulit yung stamina ko by doing cardio workout since it helps a lot with the stamina. And for the vocals as well, um, hindi po ko masyado kumain ng mga sweets and colds. And for the procedure po for daydream, nung napakinggan ko na po yung song, ang pumasok po talaga agad sa mind ko is it's gonna be about love. And sobrang sobrang nagustuhan ko po yung vibe niya. And since for me po, hindi pa po ako naka-experience ng love. So, medyo nahirapan po ako. So, ang ginawa ko po is kumuha po ako ng mga ideas kung paano siya mabubuo. And, iyon po, hanggang nabuo ko na po yung daydream. So, basically po, daydream, it's about the confusing part of falling in love po. Um, yung tinatry niyo po, i-deny yung feelings niyo. Pero, in the end, mas lalo ka pong na-fall. And now you're stuck daydreaming about that person po. Right, thank you. So to some of us, we know that Darlene actually debuted as a member of YGIG. So Darlene, just to give us a short, uh, short answer to this. So who was Darlene as a YG, YGIG member? And who is Darlene now? What can we expect from you right now? So during YGIG po, that darling po is very fierce and very powerful. Nakilala po kasi ako as a very strong person sa group. And ang pinagkaiba po siguro ngayon, now that I'm a soloist, I want to, sh to show more my light aura and mas bright and mas natural na may ilalabas yung sarili ko. Yun. Alright. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Darlene. Now, we will open the floor to our media who are here right now to ask some questions themselves. Nung napanood namin yung teaser kanina bago ko pumasok, Papa, ay siya pala yun. <laughs> yung sad na voice kids na namalit ka pa. Please tell us something about your experience first nung walang sumali ka doon. Hindi namin kasi matandaan kung sino yung kabatch mo that time, ano yung kinanta mo that time. Pero yung face familiar, ikaw yung isang batang cute na cute na sumali na. Thank you po. Okay. So, bali po ang experience ko po sa The Voice Kids. Actually, it's very, very tough for a young kid po. So, ang kinanta ko po noon is The Girl on Fire. And ang um, coach ko po noon is si Coach Lea Salonga. Siya po yung nag-train sa akin during The Voice Kids. And it was such a fun experience to be there po. And marami din po kong natutunan from him. Sino yung mga kabatch mo doon? Ang mga kabatch ko po noon is sila Laika Gairanod, Kuya JK, and Kuya Darren. Sa nakakatawa na naglakihan na kayo. Tumatanda oh, na kami. Okay. <laughs> That time kasi parang ang dilihit nyo pa ngayon. Mga yes, lalaga na kayo. Okay. Pero uh, nakakatawa na from the girls group. Ngayon parang your solo. Ano yung challenges you experience doing solo in spite na meron ka mga kasama before? Ano yung mga challenges you encounter? Actually po, right now na I'm a soloist, it's actually very challenging. Unlike po before now, I'm with my artists. There are a lot of support po from them. And now that I'm solo, it feels slowly po, but I know nakakayanin ko po since nagkaroon naman po ko ng mga previous experience po sa The Voice Kids. Yeah. May last question. Parang ikaw ba bilang bag bagong singer, solo solo artist, saan mo gusto makilala na genre? Para kasi ngayon, ang pinaportray mo parang P-pop, di ba? P-pop, yes. P-pop solo artist. So yun ba yung gusto mong tangakin in your career? Or international artist? Or meron ka pang plan to have before ah, sa mga susunod na career path mo? Actually po, I don't want to stick in one genre po. Gusto ko po talagang mas ma-explore pa po yung buong genre. So I can be an po, first time po. Congratulations, Darlene. Looking po. forward to your more uh, mga power dun sa career mo. Thank you. Thank you, Pop. Thank you very much. Yes, so to the person uh, here behind the first chair. Uh, yeah, I, Chris from uh, One Music here. Ah, uh, here, here, here. Hey. Uh, 
Uh, so, uh, last last Tuesday, uh, medyo nagkaroon ng nagkaroon ng parang baptism of fire performing at UP Fair. Kasi ano siya, di ba, parang iconic one of those gigs na every year inaabangan ng mga tao and all that. And uh, careers get launched and uh, all that. So, um, how was your experience like and, uh, and paano ka nag-prepare for that? For UP Fair po, actually, sobrang pinaghandaan ko po ito. And every day po, sa studio and sa house, pinapractice ko po yung mga kanta. And pinili ko po talaga yung song na makaka-relate yung mga students and everyone there. So, um, masasabi ko lang po sa UP Fair, ang experience ko po, it's, it's fun po. Kasi po, sobra din po yung energy ng mga tao doon. So, as a performer po, nakaka-hype po talaga siya. And na-enjoy ko po talaga yung performance ko in UP Fair po. Thank you. Thank you po. Thank you very much. Hi, Darlene. Um, so, my, you, nabanggit kasi na you are a member of a girl group before. Um, what did, anong reason, why did you decide to be a soloist than a group na lang? So, actually po, as much as I want to stay in YGIG po, nagkaroon po kasi ng problem sa health ko, and I can't keep up with the girls po, and I don't want to hold them back po. So I decided po to go solo and until now po I am very grateful sa kanila because they are very understanding po and I am very very happy na naging part po ko ng YGIG. Pero you still get to like hang out with them naman for Ah yes po, yes po. So okay na ba yung relationship? Yes, we're actually friends po talaga. Ayan, so um, since you're a soloist na rin, um, can I ask rin anong dapat naming expect sa iyo not just only the genre but also like future activities right hmm for the future activities po um i guess yung susunod ko po ang i-release na kanta and magiging super iba po yung vibe niya and pati na rin po yung vibe sa sarili ko mababago po ulit siya so ayun po okay um last question um So since ano na soloist ka na, do you have like mayroong mga iba pang mga artists na gusto mong mag-collab? Actually po, yes po, madami po. And first po is si Kuya Sakta Budlo. And also, yung mga nakabatch ko po during the Voice Kids, I think it will be great po kung makakollab ko po sila one time po. And parang reunion po, ganun po. Um, among the artists, sino yung parang naging inspiration sa'yo to be a singer? Um, sa, yung sinabi ko po kanina? Or, or kay, kay, ah, kay po. Actually po, ang artist po na nakapag-inspire talaga sa akin since nung bata pa ako is... Actually, they are a old singer po kasi. Kasi piniplay po siya ng parents ko, which is ABBA po. I love their songs. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, for our next interviewer. Hey, Mabuhay. Mabuhay po. Congratulations, Starly. Thank you. Ayan. So, yung first question ko dear is, um, like, how did your groupmates receive or how did you break the news na you're going solo? And, how did it take it and how are you how are they supporting you right now? Actually po, at first it was very sad po kasi hindi ko na po talaga kaya mag-continue with them since health na po yung pinag-uusapan and noon na ko po sinabi sa kanila na hindi na kaya ng body ko they understand naman po talaga and until now Maganda pa rin po yung relationship namin with isa at isa po. We're still very close with each other po. Actually po, during my graduation, they visited me po. No graduation ko during Kick the Delph po. So we are very, very close po. And dear, can you expound further like yung sa health issue? Like at what specifically yung naging, if pwede mo ba siyang sabihin kung ano? Or ano yung impact um, relatively in terms of how you are performing? 
um, actually po it's very private po so I really can't share some details pero po ang naging impact po sa akin is humina po talaga yung immune system ko yun. So how will it affect now with moving forward to you doing solo and all? Like mas sasayaw, hindi ka bless sayaw ba? Um, for now po, magle-less sayaw po ako and magpo-focus po muna ako sa vocals po talaga. And hanggang maka-recover po ako, baka po mag-try the future po, yun po. Thank you. And last na lang, um, like, how do you want um, your, how do you want your career to, to, to soar? Like, um, with the, parang with the rise of P-pop, ganyan, with all Filipino artists being known already around the world, you personally, how do you want your career to go? For me po, I want it to be unti unti po. Para po talaga, mas may enjoy ko po yung process. Like start from being small hanggang palawak po ng palawak. And for now po, ang goal ko po muna is makilala here locally po. And mas ma-share pa po yung music ko locally. And siguro po, in a few years, um, with wish ko rin po na makilala international po. Yeah. Thank you, congrats! Thank you, Thank you very much. So we have an interviewer right in front. Hi Darlene, Hello. Being where you are now, what's your daydream? Daydream ko po right now is food. Ay, hindi, chak lang po. Ang daydream ko po right now is mas makagawa pa po ng music na mai-share sa mga tao po. And yung mga ka-relate po sila din po. If makakapture ng music, line or few lines of a song yung nararamdaman mo right now sa career mo, ano yun? And pwede mo namin ba rin? Sa song po ba? Hmm. Any song? Any song? I think stand up po. So I'm gonna stand up Take my people with me Together we are going To a better place Yan po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you very much. I think someone was raising their hands at the back. Can we accommodate? Thank you. Congratulations, Darlene, on the solo launch. And I'm just curious, we just celebrated Valentine's a few days ago. And how did you celebrate Valentine's this year? Actually po, how did I celebrate Valentine's? Sorry, Char. Actually po, nasa bahay lang po ako kasama yung family ko kumakain. Kasi wala pa po sa idea ko yung love or something po. Thank you, and hopefully next time there will be something. Why not charge up lang po? Gusto ko po man na ngayon mag-focus sa career pa yun. And pag gumagawa ka ng song, ano yung usually na umuna? The lyrics or the music or the harmony? Una po, inaaral ko yung tono, and then papasukan ko ng mga lip, ng mga words na pasok sa beat. And then, yun na po yung magpa-process na po ako ng gagawa ng lyrics. Actually, when I'm making lyrics po, it's very messy. Nagkukuha po ako ng mga papers. And kung ano pong pumasok sa isip ko, isusulat ko siya kahit sa ang papers. And then, pag nabuo ko na po sila, dun ko, po, dun ko na po sila pagsasama-samahin sa isang paper. Ganun po ako gawa ng lyrics. So, and po. Give it luck and we'll see more of you. Thank you po. Thank you very much. Do we have any more questions? Yes. Hi Darlene, I'm from Anyong Opa. My question is, can you share any interesting behind the scenes for your debut preparation? Actually, po, ang interesting po behind the scenes po of MV right po. Okay, so you cut po talaga, kasi you cut po siya actually di JL. So thank you JL for letting bubbles act po in my MV. So po talaga yung for me, sa yung nakakuha ng interest ko kasi madali po siyang how do you say this? madali po siyang pasunodin so, so, I was like, so I was like wow, a cat can do that so yun po yung for me pinaka-interesting part po yeah. uh, for my last question uh, 
Is there anything you would like to say to your fans who have eagerly anticipating for your solo debut? Ah, yes, syempre naman po. And sa mga fans ko po na talagang hinintay ako. And since nung day one na uh, nandyan to support me, I am very, very grateful po. And I'll promise to work harder. And I'll promise to take good care of my health for you guys. And I'll make you proud, guys. Yes, congratulations and good luck fighting. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, we have a question from this table right here. Uh, yes. um, hi, Nereen. First of all, congratulations on your uh, debut as a soloist. Uh, I'm from Ara from Pop Journal Media. And your question ka is from your journey since um, yung bata ka pa until now, if you're gonna um, create a song, what song title would it be and why? Mm, I think. Magiging song title ko is strong kasi since the voice kids ko marami na po akong tinahak sa buhay and that girl that small girl is very strong for a very young age po so ang magiging title ko is strong okay thank you and also a follow up uh, another question if Darlene is not a soloist or an artist right now what is what would she be in her profession I think po, a psychologist. Yes, po, a psychologist. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Darlene. Uh, I'm Jojo. Uh, Darlene, I, I was uh, pleasantly surprised when I heard you sing stand-up kanina. Kasi narinig ko din kanina yung performance mo for the showcase at, at malayo talaga. I mean, yeah, yeah, uh, malawak yung range mo. Can you tell us about your uh, journey as a vocalist? Ano yung mga kinakanta mo dati? And how did you eventually settle on the style that you have now? Actually po, ang kinakanta ko po talaga as, as, as a bata po talaga is yung mga strong songs like Listen, and I'm Telling You, and Girl on Fire. And parang masasabi ko po nun is parang nag impersonate na po ako ng mga adults. And right now po, hinahanap ko na po, ta nahanap ko na po talaga kung paano mailalabas yung natural voice ko without impersonating any other artist po. Yan. So hindi ka na, at least for now, uh, magiging belter? Um, for now po, yes, I'm still a belter po, pero I really want to focus po sa mas bagong vibes po. Yan. Uh, my last question, how involved are you uh, when it comes to your music, especially in uh, uh, collaborating with SB Town and Universal Records for uh, for your songs? Actually, po, um, I think um, uh, when it when it comes to making lyrics, po, um, mga 95 percent, po yung may aambag ko when making my own music. Kasi po, hindi po ako miss po yung nag-produce ng beats and sounds. So, yun po. Do you feel na medyo uphill yung ginagawa mo? Uh, yung tinatakong landas? Kasi sa Pilipinas, ang pipap ay still um, um, mas kinakabit sa mga grupo kesa solo. Eh? I think po, wala naman po mawawala akong i-re-risk ko. And there's still Marami pa pong chances po na bumaway yun po. Galit yung sagot. Salamat. Thank you po. Thank you very much. Do we have any more questions? Yes. Hi. Video ko na. Ah, gano'n po. Hi, my name is Jamie. I'm from Soundcheck Manila. So, now that you're going out on your own, what have you learned from being part of a group that you can bring now na nag-solo na, ka? And how different are you na uh, as part of a group, like yung type of music mo, to now na nag-solo ka? Super different ba siya? And also how you present yourself, your image, your branding, that Actually you... po, marami po ako natutunan nung nasa group ako kasi Originally po talaga, hindi po talaga ako sumasayaw. So yun po talaga yung natutunan ko, yung pagsayaw. Not only that, but also by presenting yourself and doing your makeup. Talaga po kasi hinasa po kami. 
during the training period. And ang masabi ko lang po, malaki po yung pinagkaiba ng YG IG Darlene and Darlene nasa Solo West right now. Because nung Darlene na nasa YG IG, she is very fierce. And right now po, I think ang gusto ko pong maipakita right now is a jolly, more bright, and more light na aura po. Yan po. Alright, thank you, Edward Thank you. Thank you very much. So before we move on to next step, I just want to explain something as a SP town. Uh, I'm sure that many people are curious about the issue with the YG idea about that lead. So anyway, thank you so much to really think about a lot about her health. So if I let you know the truth is, of course, Darlene, as you can see, she is a very, like a tiny, very small girl. And then uh, she really tried to follow the our tra training very hard. And then since YGIG is idol group, so it's a group activity. So in her case, she really have a passion to be part of YGIG. So she really tried to follow the that hard training. So. Uh, after debut, maybe it's quite hard for her in her stamina. So physically, uh, we found that she become a little bit weak. So for our company, of course, artist health is the priority. So because of that reason, we want her to take a rest and then uh, she could leave the group and then thankfully, on our company side, we meet the very, very great talents. So even YGIG members, actually they understand everything and then actually they were okay, uh, let her be out of the group. And then also, I also thank to Darlene, instead of giving up because of her health issue, she tried to debut as a solo artist. So uh, I hope that uh, some curiosity about her issue before is solved. It. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Abby. Yes, so do we have any more questions? Yes, the one at the back with the red shirt. Uh, hi, I'm Florida from Manhunt Live. Just like to ask one. Um, uh, for your uh, future songs, uh, will you be singing in Filipino, English, or other languages to reach out to more fans? For my next song, po, I think, oh my gosh, spoilers, po, but I will be singing in Tagalog. Po. Yeah. But, uh, ganun din ba yung mga future songs mas in Tagalog or more um, on Filipino ba or English? Actually, po, it depends po kung Ano yung mag-feel ko po sa vibes ng ibibigay na song sa akin? Um, next is, uh, um, based on feedback sa mga fans mo, uh, are you still compared to other singers based on looks and also by voice? Ano yung, ano yung kinakompare ka sa kanila? To be honest po, sa mga yung nakakompare po, I don't really ano, give time to that po because I want to focus on my journey po instead of comparing myself with the other artists because alam ko po na lahat ng artists we have our own uniqueness and yun po. Okay, and for my final question, uh, so with this debut, uh, will you also be doing tours or uh, you will be going around the country Berlin or to, yeah, to introduce yourself to more fans? Um, I think it's maybe, <laughs> maybe po. For now po, um, yes, yes, maybe. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. So I think that is all the time that we have for our question and answer portion. So thank you very much. I believe that uh, some questions and clarifications were. Uh, were made and I think these questions were also very much appreciated by our artists.